Well, hey, folks, and welcome again to the More Summer Adventures Day 18. Uh, I think today's video, tonight's video, is going to be a short one. All right. Um, like I told you yesterday, we're in Gillette now for, uh, and we're going to be here for another, well, another four days. <coughs> um, didn't do a whole lot this morning. I went and had breakfast uh, with the group, and then basically uh, it was, you know, on our own all day until this evening. Uh, then this evening we had uh, door prize uh, drawings and uh, brown bag auction, which was kind of uh, amusing. Uh, some people, uh, I, I think one person or one couple bid $51 uh you know, and of course everything's in a brown bag, and it's it's taped shut, so you don't know what you're bidding on, what's in the bag. But uh, one person, a couple, bid fifty-one dollars, and got a pair of his and hers uh, Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> okay, so I mean, uh, some other people, you know, bid as much as uh, or as little as as twenty dollars, and got some trinkets and. $20 rolled up in one of the trinkets. So, yeah, it just, it just, the way, it was amusing. I have to admit that. But earlier today, Christy and I went to, went and did some shopping, came back, took care of some things here, and, and then we went downtown to the historic area, uh, Gillette, and walked around there. So, we did post a, a few pictures already this, this afternoon of what was going on. And, you know, that was basically it. Um, you know, there wasn't uh, any seminar meetings or any vendors of that nature here today. So, um, you know, it was more or less, you know, it's a free day on your own. So you can do uh, tours. And, and we had talked about doing a tour, but, you know, they're booked up to like Friday. And we didn't want to wait that long because there's other things that we want to do. We do want to go to um, Devil's Tower. And I think we're going to be able to do that Friday. But all in all... We just uh, stayed right around here. Like I say, we took some pictures of downtown and posted those. But other than that, that was that was basically it. Like I told you, it's going to be a short video because there ain't a whole lot to talk about. Okay, uh, except the good stuff, and that is First uh, John four nineteen. We love him because he first loved us. Every one of these versions, different versions that I use that I re refer to, all say the same thing. We love him because he first loved us. And that's it, you know. Um, Christ died on the cross for our sins. And resurrecting on the third day is the good news. He became our sacrificial lamb, even for us today. He knew on that cross 2,000 plus years ago that today I would be talking about my friend Jesus. The folks that lived at the time of Jesus, his disciples and others, his followers and others, some of them recognized that he was the Messiah, but at that time, they were looking for a physical overthrow of the Roman government and setting Jerusalem back up as the king, you know, as the city of David, which it is, and the capital of Israel. They weren't ready to accept the new kingdom, the new earth, the new heavens that Revelation talks about. And they weren't ready to accept or willing to accept that the kingdom that he was talking about was a spiritual kingdom. You know, that even though my name may be Jerry Morris, I am a child of God through the blood of Jesus Christ. So, because we love him, because he loved us first. And for many years, you know, I just played church. I wasn't serious about it. And then one day, 
I realized that I was just playing church. I was tired of running. I was tired of the games and tired of the headaches. And I developed a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Because he loved me first. Even with all of my faults and all of my sins and all of my wrongdoings, he still loved me enough to go through the pain and suffering for over 48 hours to when he said it was finished. But see, folks, that's not where the pain stopped. Because once he gave up his soul and said it's finished and carried the sin of the world, past, present, and future, God could not look upon him because he was covered with the sin of the world. And Christ descended into the depths of Hades, bearing our sins. And then he claimed who he was, that Satan you were kicked out of heaven. I was there when you were kicked out. You're a fraud. You're a fake. And I'm taking the keys. And I am victorious. And on the third day he arose. And that, folks, is the good, is, is the good news. And he did that for me. I see. The pain didn't stop when he said it's finished. Because he still had to go down to the depths of hell. And fight Satan. And carrying the pain... And the hurt and the grief and the sins and the sorrow and other whatever adjectives and adverbs you want to use with him to the depths of hell. And then he said, Satan, you are defeated for I am Jesus Christ. I am the Son of God. And arose on the third day. So everything that we have. Is because of him. We love him. Because he first loved us. Because 2000 plus years ago. He did that for me. And you. And folks if you do not. I told you it's going to be a short video. If you do not have a personal relationship. With Jesus Christ. Just please repeat after me. Heavenly Father, forgive me for my sins. Jesus, cleanse me with your blood that I may be a spotless through your blood as a newborn lamb. Forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned and I have ran from you, I have ignored you, and I'm tired of running. Forgive me for my sins and my iniquities. Help me. Holy Spirit, just come in me. Fill me, guide me, direct me. As I read my Bible, as I pray, Lord, open up to me that I may know you and not just an imagination. That I can have a personal relationship. That I can hear your voice in my heart and in my mind. Forgive me, Heavenly Father, and cleanse me with Jesus' blood. Amen. Folks, that's all it takes. It's a simple prayer such as that. And I pray that prayer or one similar to it every day, a couple times a day. Lord, forgive me because I know that was wrong. You know, I didn't mean to do that, but forgive me, Lord. And He will. Because He loves you. And He loves me. And that's what makes it so great. We love Him because He first loved us. John 1.1 1, 1, In the beginning was God. And the Word was with God. And the Word became flesh. So He's talking about Jesus Christ. Who came down here and experienced everything that we experienced 
but did not succumb to that temptation, but defeated it. Folks, you have a blessed night. God willing, we'll come to you again tomorrow with another video, another scripture, and hopefully some more pictures. All right, good night. God bless.